Hey everybody, what's going on? All right, I was able to borrow the phone again, shall we say, and uh, I'm just gonna put together a quick video here for some of this stuff that I have that I've really been anxious to get uh, on camera. Uh, this week's super busy. We're building up to the Calgary Horror Con. It's already Monday. Uh, the horror convention is on Saturday. So uh, it's coming here real quick. Some really exciting stuff that I've been looking forward to showing. So let's just get right into it. And uh, if my shirt is any bit of a clue, it is scream based today. So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing I have to show you guys is a wicked pickup from Burke Bench Designs by none other than Clive himself. I'm sure you guys are aware of Clive's work at Burke Bench. He does some of the most realistic scream stuff in the game. He does robes, he does knives. Um, he does all sorts of stuff. You definitely have to check him out. Um, so it's Burke Bench Designs, as you know. But uh, what, what I did is I ordered a buck 120 from him uh, in resin, because I wanted one that was con safe. Uh, I thought we had to do foam for a while, but I guess resin is still okay at the at the moment, or depending on the con. But uh, but anyway, I was really looking forward to getting one of these because they have quite the reputation of being really really nice. Um, I was going to go ahead and get a chrome one, sort of like uh, the one that was featured on Drown Boy Productions. Uh, that one was really cool. But um, he was having some issues with the chrome, so he sent me a regular silver one, which is what this should be. So uh, I've been sitting on it for a bit, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Here we go. So first off, we have some goodies in here. Let's start with, oh wow, look at this. Burke Bench. Very nice, BurkeBench.org. Got the nun here. Check that bad boy out. Very cool. I like the, what it's printed on too, it's nice, nice and glossy. Creepy, I love it. Um, Alright, what do we have next here? Oh sweet! As seen in Stab, the movie. Scary costume, check that out. Scary costume, as seen in Stab, the movie. Adult size costume, so small, medium and large, look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, and the next one is... Woodsboro. That's pretty cool. All right, and for the third sticker, we have a ghost face stained glass window. Look at how gnarly that looks. That's awesome. Very cool. Thanks for throwing that in. I really like that, Clive. Right on, man. Okay, so let's have a look at what you came to see, baby. All right, let's check this thing out. So just for reference, let's take a look at the Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, their take on the Buck 120. It's kind of a big floppy thing. A lot better than what they've had in the past though. Uh, oh my God. Oh wow, look at that. Just the, the handle alone. Look at how nice that looks. Oh, sweet. That's badass. Very nice. Very nice. Looks legit. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at this blade. Buck 120. Oh, sweet, man. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, man, that is legit. That looks super nice. Wow. <laughs> That's badass, man. Check that out. So it says buck 120 on the side. The lines are nice and straight on it. Looks like one nice piece as well. The handle looks like it's solid. Can't see any lines. Blade looks pretty legit. Nice and thick too. That is cool. Wow. Very nice. That is going to go very well with the rest of what I have to show you. Badass. So as you can see, it's more like the size of a real buck one, 120. Uh, not quite this big. These are a little over the top big. But uh, as you can see, dealing with a different type of 
type of prop, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, this has come a long way. I mean, for Trick or Treat Studios, the old one was just just looked hideous. But that that's not bad in a pinch. But this is certainly a whole different level higher. That's much nicer. Like that looks very legit. And uh, yeah, you're not cutting anybody with that at all. It's a little pokey though. Ooh, little pokey. <laughs> That's badass. Great job, Clive. I love it. Super cool. Would have been nice to see the Chrome version. Uh, it's too bad it wasn't working out. But this this looks pretty damn good, man. I love it. Legit. Very nice, guys. So check it out. That's Birth Bench Designs. So I had been looking for a 1996 original scream ghost face robe for a while and you know there's a lot out there um, that you can find I mean if you look hard um, there's the usual popular ones you know like uh, scream robes is, is one that comes to mind they make uh, really beautiful high-end robes and uh, they're a little pricey of course understandably so I know they're uh, they take a lot of time and effort to make and the fabric is very expensive uh, getting that awesome uh, Lurex that has that uh, that sort of uh, sparkle to it if you will I found uh, this one fellow by the name of John Gritton who um, who did do some on the side and he was offering uh, some for sale at one point or another and I think I found them on Facebook originally and uh, I asked him about it this was months later just to see you know if, uh, if he was still doing it or not just to sort of see because I saw some of the pictures of what he had done and uh, they looked very impressive it was uh, really nice stuff and uh, when I did a little bit more research I saw that uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the original costume designer who did the original ghost face robe from the 1996 Scream film. Her name is Cynthia Bergstrom. She was costume designer on the 96 movie and uh, I saw um, she had posted an interview, I think it was in Nylon magazine or something like that, but she was talking about how it was Scream's 25th anniversary and she couldn't believe that you know this costume she designed had really had hit it off the way it did and, and whatnot. Uh, Long story short, somebody asked her if she had ever seen or found anyone that could replicate the original, more or less. And she said specifically John Gritton makes a very good replica. So that right there was enough to make me go, wow, you know, because like what I had seen, I was impressed with. But uh, once I saw that, I thought, whoa, if you're getting the praise of the person that actually designed and made this original ghost face you know robe for the film how can it get any better right I mean if you have her approval that was a pretty high compliment so I thought for sure I should give him a try if he's willing to make one for me so uh, I gave him as much time as he needed and uh, you know I gave him basically more or less my dimensions <laughs> and I'm hoping that uh, everything fits great. All right, let's take a look, guys. It's funny, as soon as you're on camera, it's like you wouldn't be surprised how many people forget how to use a knife. Like, as soon as they're recording and they know somebody's watching or whatever, like, you'd be surprised at how many people cut themselves open and shit. Kind of blows my mind, but I guess it's just a matter of being excited or tense or whatever you know you're on camera. Okay, so it looks like it is in a bag, of course, or... Yeah, okay, I'm just going to set it down here. Okay. And it is in a bag, and it does have some serious weight to it. Oh, okay, I'm just going to open up here. Let's open the bag. Oh, my God. You just open the bag, and you can see. I'll show you what I'm looking at. You just see this, and it's like instantly, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. It's so heavy. It's just awesome. Look at the sleeves. Beautiful. Tattered nicely. Gloves attached. Sweet. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the hood. So nice. 
shaped. He's got Velcro in here too, so you can attach it to my mask. That is perfect. The drawstring front, just like the original. Oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, well, let's cut away to some shots here. Fantastic. Length is good. By the time I get boots on and stuff, these should be just about perfect. It's just about right down to the floor here now. And of course, this is my Gen 2 chin bib mask. This isn't the full one from here. That's the one I'll most likely be using with this, but this is a Gen 2 mask. It's just the chin bib, which is why it looks a little funny and doesn't have the two pieces coming down. But looks decent. I think it looks awesome. I love the I love the sparkle. Fantastic and the cut just looks great. Awesome. What's your favorite scary movie? Boop. All right, well that is badass. I love the way this thing looks. Gloves are amazing too, the way they're built right in like that. I love it. See it's the Gen 2 mask, of course. Chin bib which is why it hangs out funny like that. The other one won't do that, and it'll have the full hood with the streamer things on the side. Um, it is a poly, of course, just like the other one that's a poly, but it is uh, an original, super old. These are Fun World Division as well. You can see there. Fun World Div, very much like that one. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd throw this one on because it was a little more easily accessible uh yeah but i love it now this thing looks absolutely fantastic this knife is a little slippery with these gloves on i'll tell you that though it's gonna it comes out real easy i might have to do something about that maybe put something along the back or something to give it a little grip or maybe in here but uh yeah i'm super impressed with that i love this fabric it's amazing and it fits really well like really well the length like i said bare flat foot you know and socks it's it's almost on the floor by the time i have boots on it'll be like just perfect um yeah this is great really outdone yourself john i love it <laughs> so for the quality of work you're getting and stuff too i think uh it's a really really good deal and he does an absolutely fantastic job and like i said if you have the respect of cynthia bergstrom um what else do you need, right? I mean, that's pretty badass. Anyway, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. Couldn't be happier. Um, so yeah, look forward to uh, more cosplay in the future. Um, hopefully we're gonna have a few more horror festivals and stuff coming up by October. Um, but the big Calgary Horror Con is this, uh, this Saturday. So we will see. I will probably be doing my kills outfit anyway because that was the plan with meeting James Jude Courtney, but of course, he is no longer on the guest list. I'm still going no matter what, and I was going almost solely for James uh, in terms of like autographs and photos and all that stuff. So we will see how it goes, but I will definitely still be there. I will be in the Kills outfit likely. My buddy might be wearing this. We will see um, if I want to have uh, another one of these suckers represented and stuff we might uh, just have a little fun and go down and do that uh, so there could be a few of us so we'll see what happens anyway so this again is by john Britton. he is uh amazing at doing these robes in my opinion you know i did plenty of research and i saw everybody was very happy with him uh so you know i'm really happy so I just wanted you guys to take a look and see the unboxing, but I will definitely do more cosplay in the future and you will be seeing more of it eventually. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys and we will see you again for the next one.